Hi, I'm Amy Shannon, and this is, normally it would be storytelling with Amy Shannon, but I wanted to take some time and just kind of, you know, let everyone know um, that me and my family are, are fine. Uh, my son um, is one of the essential workers because he works at a, um, a large um, supermarket chain here in upstate New York. Um, we actually were in the middle of spring, but yet we just had a snowstorm last night. So um, that's kind of what's going on in, in my home. Um, I live with my, me and, my, and two of my sons, um, two of my cats and fish and my pet turtle Stanley and my pet hamster Hope. Um, so I am only going out as necessary um, to take my son to work and I use that time um, if I need um, to pick up some things at the grocery store. Um, so we're doing fine. Um, and it's kind of a interesting world out there. If you um, don't have to go out, don't. Um, and. We are lucky in a way that we have the technology where we can keep in contact with our family and our friends. Um, there is a whole new normal out there um, with you know the social distancing, and I can see that, and it's um, I see that it affects more people, some people more than others. Like walking in the grocery store. You don't walk down an aisle that, that have people in it or you walk way out of your way to go to get what you want um, but then there are those and I've seen them you know you know the 20 somethings that are um, just kind of walking around like it's it's no big deal it is a big deal um, you need to stay as healthy as possible and not just for yourself but for anyone and I mean anyone around you um, so I'm hoping that everybody stays safe and stays healthy. I have to admit that this whole thing has kind of given me a new perspective on my own disability, um, my own disorder. And so I may not be able to use my hands to tell a story or get out there um, due to I have a scent, um, a a tremor disorder. Um, I have essential tremors and it affects my hands and my legs and my body in some points. But I am done with self-pity and even though I still get frustrated, I am not so angry at myself. I am trying to be positive and think of it as another hurdle in my life that I have to figure out a way to overcome. So that's what I'm doing. But my focus is now, just keeping my family healthy, um, hoping and praying that my friends and family and everyone out there who may be affected by this in some way or another stays healthy, gets healthy, and pays attention. You know, it, it could have been, this whole mess could be turned into some political mess, and I am really... Um, at the mindset that even if we normally would agree or disagree with those who are, you know, our leaders in government, um, that this situation, um, and I can say especially um, in New York, um, we're one of the higher, uh, we're the highest that have this disease in our state, um, that our leaders are um, looking at this seriously um, so I think we need to follow their lead and follow their rules you know they're trying to keep us safe and keep our country moving um, this is not just about um, there's a whole lot of different aspects but really the primary thing is to keep people healthy and safe um, and that's what's really important um, on a personal note, um, I am still reading and doing reviews, so that's um, not going to change. Um, I'm doing the best that I can to keep up with the demand that I have. Um, 
I, um, you know, recently re uh, published, uh, um, my poetry book, All of My Yesterdays, um, so that's available, um, for sale on Amazon. You know, if you're bored and just want to read, um, I have a lot of books out there, um, but I'm not, you know, going around advertising all my books saying, read me, buy me, whatever, um, you know, if you're curious about what I write, or I should say what I used to write, um, I'd be happy to, uh, share that with you. Um, if you don't or can't want to, um, buy a copy, um, for a limited time, um, if you contact me, um, directly at writeramyshannon at gmail.com and write all of my yesterdays in the subject line, um, and in the, um, in the body of the message, tell me why you, um, would like to read a copy of my book. I will supply uh, PDF copies to those who request it and kind of, you know, make a good argument as to why they want to read it. Um, so that's, that's that. And that's, um, there'll be no charge for that. Um, and that's just something that I'm going to do, um, while this, um, is going on. If you don't, um, are into poetry, um, I write other kinds of books. Um, and there are a lot of authors out there that you may not have heard about so if you want to um, find that new hidden gem um, you could look at my book review site i um, i review for any um, author but i specialize in providing reviews for indie authors and any author of any genre so it's fiction nonfiction, poetry do-it-yourself self-help whatever um, is out there I'll read it and review it. Um, a lot of people have found the hidden gems from my reviews, so I'm glad I can help other authors do that. I support them thoroughly, and um, and I'm glad that um, they can continue their craft and explore themselves as writers. Um, I think it's very um, a fun thing to do is to see how creative you can be. So if you're a writer and you're out there um, trying to figure out what to do because you're bored, try something new, try something different. Um, so again, this has been author Amy Shannon, um, Amy Shannon, and I just want to tell everybody to stay happy and healthy, um, maintain the social distancing, you know, there are other ways we can connect and just think when this is over, you know, that human interaction that we used to take for granted and now we're forced to not being able to do it um, will seem more sweeter, more better. Um, so um, be healthy, follow the procedures that you're supposed to. If you have to self-quarantine, do that. If you or your loved ones is an essential worker for an essential um, business, stay safe, maintain what you're supposed to do for procedures of keeping yourself healthy and basically sanitize. So um, to all of my friends and family, I love you and I send out my prayers to all of you and Talk to you soon. Bye.